New in 2009, the Leader Award recognizes a business sector individual who has made significant contributions to advancing arts and culture in Colorado. And the finalists are Peter H. Dominic Jr. for his lifelong commitment and service to the integration of arts and architecture. Peter Dominic is, is almost a unique individual. He was so much a part of Colorado, having been raised here and having so many of the interest in the rural areas, uh, but he was also one of the most widely traveled individuals. When you would spend any time with Peter, you would realize the range of his experiences. I mean, for Peter, architecture was such an important part of life. He loved buildings, but he loved the way buildings sat on the land. He loved the way the land and buildings intersected and how pe people intersected with those buildings. And we were very lucky at the Art Museum that he was on our board of trustees and played a very central role really over the last 10 years at the Art Museum. Peter traveled so much and he brought so much back here. And for me, I always felt like, well, if Peter Dominic loves this city and loves the artistic community of this city, then it has to be fantastic because Peter knows what the world is like. I looked personally to Peter uh, and had many conversations uh, with Peter, both in the selection process, but then also after we had engaged Daniel Liebeskin. And Peter set a very high standard and really, really believed passionately that it should be a world-class level art in Denver. And he knew what that was. I mean, he was, you know, at the Biennale, you know, regularly. I mean, he was in Paris regularly. He was in, in, the, in, in Asia regularly. I mean, Peter knew what was going on. He was in New York. Of course, he worked, you know, at the Whitney. Uh, I mean, he knew, he knew who was doing great work and he knew why it was great work. He was a wonderful person to be with, uh, to spend time with, to have a glass of wine with, or simply look at art and architecture with. He was a remarkable man. Kathy Finland for her extensive arts community service and fostering creativity at McLean Finland Advertising. McLean Finland is a 26 year old business um, and it evolved uh, from a little yellow house in Boulder and the big idea which was to have a sustainable business practice that would um, provide advertising services all over uh, the western region. And um, we came from very humble beginnings and built ourselves into the, one of the top 50 in size in the, in the country. My involvement with the Denver Art Museum has been over many, many years and um, uh, most recently serving on the board. As we made the decisions to move forward to build the new facility and that impact of taking that institution and turning it into a great, great, more than regional institution through the impact of this facility. Um, that is a life-changing opportunity for me to have been a part of that and to have done everything I could, which I have, to help with the marketing so people could understand as much as they, they could. And then the leadership of, of, of the museum and making that happen um, has been just extraordinary. Going forward for our community, and especially with this kind of economy and the changes that are going on in our society, I think it's really critical that SCFD, CBCA, all our organizations kind of move to make us work more collaboratively. So I'm, I'm looking at the Museum of Contemporary Art and the lab out at Belmar and now Redline and um, what Robichon Gallery is doing and what the Denver Art Museum is doing and then what the Botanic Gardens is doing in terms of um, botanical illustration and I'm thinking oh my goodness we are beginning to see this flowering and that's that's where I think our next major um, uh, impact is going to be as a community and as a model for the rest of the country as to what it can be like for smart people doing smart things in a smart city. Marilyn McGinnity for her passionate support of all disciplines in the arts and artists as proprietor of Denver's colorful Mercury Cafe. I think that's one of the important things about the Mercury Cafe is that we have space that is available for professional entertainers and beginning entertainers. 
We have an open stage for musicians who are just starting out once a week. We have an open stage for writers twice a week. And then I also book professional musicians. And I used to book a lot of international talent. I like to book local talent more now because it fosters our community better. But for me, live music is an essential. I'm the chef at the Mercury Cafe and my exploration of food over 30 some years and the community and arts and politics that surround food has created a cultural center. Organic food and sustainability are tied together and they're essential that if we're going to flourish on this planet, we can't poison it, <laughs> we can't consume in an insane way. And when people say they enjoy the mercury, I say that the Mercury Cafe is organically grown. And that's true in that it is a living entity that constantly changes and grows with the energy that people bring to us.